Hi guys, it's Emily from Novel Novels and welcome to today's video. This is my June wrap up part one and I am having one heck of a good month. This has got to be one of the best starts to the month ever. I cannot describe how happy I am. In fact, if I keep going on about it, I'm going to scream. I'm filming this on the 15th and I've currently just finished the 16th book. Admittedly, that was an audio book and I'll tell you that star rating when I get to it. But that's not bad. I've just I've read 16 books already. I've got one, two, three, four physical ones on the go and one audio book. One of them's being read over three months, one of them's being read over two. So they, they, they will take a bit of time and I'll show you them in a minute. But I'm doing really well. I've read quite a few historical fictions. I've read a few contemporaries. I've got the mix spot on. I am loving my books. As you can see, it's one of the last days of such spring sort of summery bits for, t for June because apparently next week it's going to be raining. So you may well get all my other videos inside again. But I thought I'd enjoy it, record quickly because I've just been shopping, bought six books, you know, it doesn't matter too much. Yeah, well, let's enjoy ourselves, hey. So enough of the rambling, let's get on. I'm currently reading, I've just started this last night, um, The Daughter's Journey, which is Start, it's basically set in the 1950s and 1960s and um, we start off in the 1950s a girl who is um, transported to live with her uncle our aunt and uncle because they, when she was six and then we go to when she's 16 and it's just following her journey and she's now going to be going off to Liverpool so it's really quite good hope I like it I'm only about 100 pages in so it's about a 400 page book hope I like it don't know whether I will or not but I'm hoping so started this last night dancing over the hill by kathy hopkins it was one that was on my try a chapter tag and i said i was going to read it and this if you read the book try a chapter you'll watch the try a chapter you'll see it and i'll link that try chapters below and this is about a couple who are married for 30 years they're rock solid until they get until the husband gets made to be going to retirement a little bit earlier and we'll see what happens there so it's quite interesting hope i like it Oh, so far, all the try chapters that I've tried have been like three stars, so let's see if that beats that. Then, you guys know I'm reading the Barchester Tower series. This is, I think, the fourth in the series, The Family Parsonage. I'm really enjoying this. Really, really enjoying this. It's quite a good one. It's better to me than Dr Thorne. So, liking this. Got very good potential. Then I'm reading this with a group of, with our group of fellow booktubers on Bookstagram, War and Peace really liking this a lot more than I liked Anna Corona and this is actually even though it's a massive book and it's going to take us a time really really enjoying this so they're ones I'm currently reading on ebook I have things a bright girl cannot can't do and that is a YA um book on the suffragettes so historical fiction on the YA only just started it but quite enjoying it that's what I'm currently reading let's get on to it so so far not doing bad I've only got one two stars, which is the English fairy tales. This has got, some of these are quite good. So obviously I like the three little pigs and Dick Whittington and stuff, but it's not as good as I hoped. So two stars, I'm, I'm going to try and get through these ones that I, I picked up on the shelves, the Woolworths edi the Wordsworth editions, but I'm not keeping this. It's not, Mia wouldn't even like it and Thomas wouldn't like it. Not as good as the actual Disney kind of ones. And so that's going, bye bye. This is three and a half stars, so it's good. It's part of a series. I'm keeping it because I want to see if the series is good, but apparently the series aren't interconnecting, so I'm not sure if I'm going to do this. I like Veronica Henry's work. She's a great contemporary author, but she does have a lot of characters in her books, and I can get a little bit lost. So this is the, follows the stories of the families who come to Everdeen each year, people who fall in and out of love, remembering their past or trying to forget them. There's one storyline in this, which is Jane Milton's storyline, and I love that. I love Sarah's storyline. Sarah's storyline's all right. Harry falls in love with his first love, that kind of thing. That's all right, but there's only one thoroughly strong storyline in this, and that's Jane Milton and the guy who sort of like caretakes the beach huts. He's really good. But I'm just debating. I don't know what to do about this. I deliberately, I've got the whole series, so I don't want to give one away and regret that I've given it away like I did with the Chocolat series. So I'm probably going to keep it for a little bit longer. So that's those ones. So those are the only not as amazing books. The rest are four stars, four and a half or even blooming five stars. 
I've got one, two, three, five, four stars, one, four and a half stars, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, five stars. So actually my five stars are out are winning the list at the moment. So one of my four stars is The Lost, the Lost Summer of Louisa May Alcott by Kelly O'Connor. And this tells you about the summer. It's This is the fictional summer. So it has some fiction some non-fictional parts about what happened to Louisa May Alcott and her family and her family members are, are I believe factual but this tells you about the summer that was it that wasn't documented it imagines a romance or was there a romance was there not about that Louisa May Alcott went into the family style elements in this were really good her and her sisters were really good there was some tragedy in this there was a bit of love in this it's the other side to Louisa May Alcott that we don't know I'm going to give this to my mum because I think she's going to love this. If you like Little Women, if you want to know a bit more about Louisa May Alcott, you will love this book. Pick it up. It's really good. This is going to be my gifty one. So that's going on the gifty pile. Then I buddy read the family upstairs with the lovely Linda from Linda's World of Books. I love Lisa Jewell's writings. Linda's rated it three stars. I'm rating it four because I think it did have me quite gripped. There was a very spooky bits in this in the fact that there's like the family so in a large house in fashion in london's fashionable chelsea a baby is awake in a cot well fed and cared for she's happily waiting for someone to pick her up in the kitchen there lies three de decomposing corpses close to them is a hasty sprawled note they've been dead for several days who's been looking after the baby and where did they go this is a mixture between the past of what, around about what happened to the to what actually happened in the family upstairs and the future of all the people that were to do with it in the end. So the baby that was left, it starts off with her story in the in the future, in the present, and then it goes back to what happened to lead up to the loss. I found this gripping. There were some twists I didn't expect in this. It's really good. It did have me on the edge of my seat and the last page was like... Linda sussed the baddie. I wasn't as sussed in it, but I think it tied everything together. The ending tied everything together brilliantly. And for that reason, I definitely deserve four stars. It was gripping. It was slow paced at the start. Then it picked up and bloody hell was I on the edge of my seat for this book. Thoroughly recommend it to everyone, but it's not going to be one I'm going to keep. Then I read Remarkable Creatures by Tracy Chevalier. That was again four stars. Historical fiction. It's apparently quite accurate, actually, because it's there's some stuff in it. And I can't remember. There's actually a famous person referenced in this. And it was talking about the fossils that were found and stuff. And it was set in Jane Austen's time. So that was quite interesting. And from the moment she struck by lightning as a baby, it's clear that Mary Annie is different. Her discovery of strange fossilised creatures in the cliffs of Lyme Regis sets the world alight. But Mary must face the powerful prejudice from the male scientific. So it's quite good. Like Tracy Chevalier. Not as good as the girl... Oh, the other book that I loved. The girl with the pair of Naomi. But it's better than the other one. So this is quite good. Definitely going to pick up more Tracy Chevalier. But that's definitely going to be going. Then I picked up the next one in the Tudor series. The other Berlin Girl. This was a reread for me. But because it, I, I list, last time I listened to it on audio. But this time I had the physical copy. It was got, up to, got from four stars to four and a half stars. Really enjoyed it. This is talking about Mary Berlin. Which is Anne Berlin's sister. And her time in the stories. Really enjoyed it thoroughly gripping really loved mary's story and i think rereading it i picked up more than i picked up the first time really recommend the plantation series thoroughly like pillar for gregory although not quite as much as alison weir if i'm being honest but i'm not going to keep that one because i'm not keeping all of that series i don't know why but it's not the best in the series but it's a good one now i have just read um my, my audio book which was the the cottingly secret that that's four stars by the way literally only just finished it it was by helen gain or something i can't remember and i listened to it on borrow box i will say to those of you that love historical fiction love books set in ireland love a bit of mystery a bit of fantasy a bit of fairies pick it up if you got it on borrow box get it it's brilliant loved it four stars all the way finished it on the way home from town today and definitely recommend it to everybody so now i'm getting to my five stars i've got one two three Oh, I six, seven, five stars. Can you guys guess again? I love doing this game because it's really good fun. Which out of these five stars? I'm not going to tell you in order. I'm not going to give any clues. They are all absolutely incredible. But I've got two 
that I'm going to say are my favourites. See if you can give me a prediction of one of them. I would love to know if you've got time. So watch this. See you at the end. Think about it in your comments and let me know in the comments below which ones you love, which ones you think are going to be my favourite. So I'm going to start off with the first five star read of the month, which I buddy read with the lovely Chloe from Chloe Reads Books. And we finally got a five star. Yes. Oh my God. I love this book. I thought I liked Daisy Jones and the Six. I listened to borrowed that for my sister Charlie and now I want my own copy of it. If you think you love that, you're going to love this so much more. It has been hyped on booktube for so long and I didn't think it could be as good as I'd imagined, but it's good, if not better. It's got LGBTQI plus characters in it. It's got romance in it. It's got historical fiction in it. It's got music. It's got passion. It's got film stars. It's got everything you could possibly mix and it's past, present, future, everything, oh, two timelines. So the person who's writing Evelyn Hugo's stories, why she's writing them, Evelyn Hugo's timeline. It is the, one of the best books ever. It's got tragedy, love. It's just, oh, everything you can want in a book and more. I thoroughly loved it. That is a keepy, 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 keepy. That's my keepy, keepy. That's, I'm not, I'm, I don't even know if I'll lend anyone out to that because I want to reread that. Then I read my middle grade book of the month, A Pinch of Magic by Michelle Harrison. I picked this up purely because of Charlie from Charles Heathcote because he got the third in the series and I ended up buying the third before I bought the first and second. Then Chris got me the first and second, so I've got the whole series. Story about sisters, three sisters stuck trapped in a curse. You know me and my sisters. This was every bit as magical as I'd imagined, every bit as hopeful as I imagined. Will they be enough to break the curse? this three sister thing and the three sisters are all very different and very magical and I loved it and I cannot wait I'm trying to decide whether I, in August I pick up the um, second one because I just love this it was so brilliant magical fantasy excitement brilliant thoroughly recommend that if you like middle grade but you like a bit of fantasy you like sibling relationships that's brilliant the next one I cannot say too much about this because I think it's the fourth in the series double cross it's about Sefi, no, it's more, this one's more about Toby, who is best friends with Canny Rose, who is Sefi from the first book's daughter. And basically, this is, a, because normally the other books have been about Canny Rose, it's been about Sefi, and it's been about their family. But this is more of Toby's story, and this is a character that's not been in other books, he was in the, 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 the last book before this. And we've got to see him a little bit. We didn't really get to know him enough. But it's nice to read a different character story. But linking in with the other stories. Thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly love this. Brilliant. Fourth in the series. I've got the fifth. And I thought that was it. I thought I was done with the whole series. I need to discover. She's letting, getting another book out in September. Which of course I will buy. Which of course I'll have to read the next month. So I can make sure the series is completed by the end of the year. Because that was obviously one of my series goals. I can't recommend this enough. I'm in two months. I'm going to be reading the next one, so that'll be August. I'll be reading the next one in the series. Yeah, loved it. Definitely recommend that. I could definitely recommend the whole series, although I've not got not matching covers, which is going to annoy me. But there you go. Then a book that I've got two of, because Chris bought me one and Gemma bought me one. I think I'm going to do a giveaway. Is there anyone that particularly would like a copy of this? This is Laura Jane Williams' second book. I think I've got two copies. I'm still trying to debate whether I keep whether I have two or not. I love this. Penny Bridge, the sto is story is she's been unlucky in love and then she ends up meeting like three guys. It is five stars, but it's probably not the rest of no, I'll give you hints now, aren't I? But it's really about romance and about trying to find yourself and about going a bit over the, going a bit rebelling, trying to please everyone and not pleasing yourself and losing yourself in the time. And it's a really good book. Thoroughly easy contemporary book. Did really enjoy it. It's better than our stop in my eyes, but I now want to get the next book in this series, in the, the next book of the authors, which is The Lucky Escape or Our Lucky Escape. We'll have to find that when it goes up down on Amazon. I might get that. So that does look good. Then I read a book that made me cry, The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna. How often is this read throughout over booktube? It is one of Angie from Science Mama's favourite books. Berna loved it. Loads of my fellow booktubers have loved it. And this did make me cry. Everyone warned me it would make me cry, and it really did. Again, it's about sisters. Despite the differences, Vivienne and Isabel have always been close. Younger, bolder Isabel lives in Paris, where Vivienne is content in the French countryside with her husband, Antoine, and their child. 
when the Second World War breaks out and Antoine is conscripted to fight, Isabel is sent to the country by her father to help Vivienne. This is not easy. There's stories that these sisters go through. We've got a bit of French resistance. We've got a bit of, we've got a lot of danger. There is a lot of bit triggers and violence for a lot of things, but it's bloody good. It is really good. It will make, but make sure you read this at a time where you're not going to care if you cry because you will cry. This is this is one that made me physically cry quite a lot. But it's five stars all the way. Really, really loved it. And one I've only just finished yesterday was The Lady in the Raven by Joanne Hickson. This is The Lady of the Ravens is the um, name because it was the arc. I believe it's changed title now. I can't remember what it's changed. The Lady of the Ravens or something. I can't remember what the name's changed to, but it's very very good it's about the lady of the ravens it's um a woman joan vaux who is servant of the court of elizabeth york so that's king henry the seventh second wife but it's more of joan's story yes you've got a bit of obviously elizabeth of york story but you've got a joan story and it's the connections between them two the battle she has but we have the ravens we have a bit of magic in the ravens the girl watched the pitch black ravens transfixed by their piercing intelligent eyes as they scavenged on the green when the scaffold was erected for executions, eyes that seemed to read her mind. Really magical, really good. I'm keeping this. I got sent this last year by Tracy, Bookie Tracy on Instagram. And I would, and it's my, my like I said, it's my arc. So I've got, it's by Harper Collins, And I just loved it. It was released in January last year. And it's just one that, oh, I'm really annoyed at myself that I've not read sooner. I've just today purchased the Agincourt Wipe. Which is Bridget called Bride, which is another one of the her works, and I will look for a lot more of her works. They're brilliant. So that's my other keepy. And then the last book is a book that I got sent by Tandem to as a mail out to read. You will get through the night by Jen Daniel Howell, who I believe went to is went to the same school as my Chris, and my sister in law Kath has actually met him. And my sisters, my other sister Charlie's like subscribed to his YouTube channel. This is a practical guide on mental health and it's really good. I think I'm going to keep this quite near. I'm going to keep it on a shelf where I can actually look at it because it's got hints on this that really help me and I could probably do with some of these right now. So it's a really great practical guide on mental health. It's one that if you need a bit of help, if you need some guidance or if you want to understand that people that you love, what they're going through with mental health, this is really fantastic. And it's one I definitely recommend. So thank you, got Tandem. You smashed it again. You did me another five star. Now, have a think. What do you think of the ones that I'm going to do? Now, normally I'm going to be unhauling loads of books. As you can see, I think I've only got about four books that I'm, de that I'm definitely unhauling. And one more that I'm still debating. And one that I'm giving to assist my, my mum. This is going to be a fun putting things back on the shelf. Great. So I've just been talking for long enough. What do you think my favourite book is going to be? Okay, I'm going to be honest. I'm trying not to show you what order, but you can guess. Yes, Double Cross is one of them because it's a series and it smashed it. That's one of my favourites. I don't know if that will still be my favourite at the end of the month. Depends on how the rest of the month goes. This one as well, but this one almost tops it. This one probably will... This one is actually going on my top books of the year so far, which is another video which will be coming out at the end of the month. At the end of the month, I'll be doing my top 10 to 15 books of the year so far. And this is going in that. Loved it, loved it, loved it. So what's been your favourite book of the month so far? I look forward to you telling me. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel and not subscribed yet, ring on my ding-a-ling and I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.